Hi, Chris McLuhan here for FDIC International 2024. I'm here at the Sam Carvis booth today, and you probably know their ground ladders as alkalite ground ladders, aluminum ladders. I'm here with David Williamson. He is the fire ladder sales manager for Sam Carvis, and he's gonna walk us through how we got to where we are today. He's gonna to give us a history of Sam Carvis because you know we carry ground ladders on just about every one of our trucks. Pumpers have them, truck companies of course have them, rescue companies have them, but do we really know the history of how those ladders are constructed and the reasoning behind it? So David, thank you for, for taking some time out with me today. Yes, talk, about, talk about Sam Carvis and, and, and how the aluminum ladder kind of came to be. <clears throat> so Chris, um, our namesake, Sam Carvis, has always been a family owned company. Um, Sam was working for Alcola back in the late 20s uh, when aluminum was developed. They polled their employees and said, hey, what can we use this new miracle metal for? Sam said, hey, why don't we replace the heavy wooden ground ladders that the firefighters are having to use with aluminum counterparts? They said, yeah, that's a great idea. Uh, not really where we want to be in the market, but we'll sell you whatever aluminum you need. So the first one was born in his garage in 1930 and aluminum ladder was born. Um, fast forward through the years, it went through, like I said, several transitions within the family. Um, the current president is Sean Mazel, uh, the great granddaughter of Sam. So that's how the aluminum ladder was born. We were the first in the industry. Now, we have a lot of different iterations of that ladder through the years. Could you talk about just how the, 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 the construction of the ladder has changed over time, if it's even changed Certainly. over time? Um, and just talk about why it is you construct the ladders the way you do, and really what could happen if we need to repair those ladders. Certainly, so we take a lot of pride in the way that we construct our ladders. Uh, of course, they meet all the applicable NFPA standards. Um, we use a two-piece beam construction for the pumper style ladder, where we have two extrusions that are riveted together solidly. Um, one of the advantages of that system is we uh, don't have any welding on our ladders. We use a bushing system that mm -hmm. expands the rungs so they have a tight contact surface. Um, it makes field repairs really easy, really simple, simple hand tools, things that you can buy from your local hardware store. Well, we're at FDIC, uh, and of course, this is where uh, new products uh, come to be introduced. What, do you, what, are you, what are you talking about this year at the show? So one of our newest products, um, it's not new this year, but it's one of our newer products. Uh, but it's seen a lot of traction in the industry. Uh, I came from the fire service and uh, I'm pr really proud of this product. It's the PWL06 is our model number, um, but it's really designed, it can fit into a backboard compartment. It's, um, it's a really lightweight ladder. It's only uh, just shy of six feet tall, but we developed it and realized that it was the perfect VEIS ladder for first floor search and rescue. So David, like you said, this is not a truly new product, but it's been one of your very popular products. Walk me through right. this. I'm, I know it, and, and, and what's gonna resonate most with me is the VEIS ladder, but I know there's model numbers and stuff in there that you wanna talk yes, about sir. too, yes, so, sir. so people know what to order. <clears throat> so it is our VEIS ladder. Um, it's uh, the PW, model is the PWL06. Okay. Um, when we developed this, we put a lot of thought into it. Um, you'll notice on this end, we have the butt spurs uh, mm -hmm. for soft terrain. Um, on the other end, we actually installed safety shoes in case you have a sidewalk or some firm terrain okay. where, where the butt spurs would not be applicable. Mm -hmm. And it's really lightweight construction. It's uh, only 16 pounds, full 750 pound rated ladder as per NFPA specs. Um, really a great ladder. It will actually fit into a backboard compartment oh, if you okay. have an unused backboard compartment. Perfect. Can, can repairs be done in-house uh, for, for ladders? How, how, how would, what, what do you have available to help fire departments make those repairs if they need to? Certainly, so we actually offer at our facility in Florence, South Carolina, we offer a one day training class on maintenance uh, and testing, proper testing of the ladders. Uh, it's all hands on. Um, the, the students come to the factory, they take a tour, they see what's, you know, how ladders are being built. We immediately move into testing and repairs and, and all of those things and they leave feeling uh, confident in their ability to properly repair and maintain their ladders. Now, what would you say separates Alkalite ladders from other products that are available on, on the market for fire departments? Really the ease of repair, um, the customer service as well. 
Uh, we take a lot of pride in our customer service, making sure that the firefighter is taken care of and gets what they need in a timely manner. Um, all their issues or concerns are addressed. When we talk about ground ladder repair and we'll talk about Acolyte specifically, what, what would the repair process be uh, for, for different for different problems? So most of the other uh, items are, are just bolt on end caps, okay. uh, pulleys, that kind of thing. One of the most common repairs obviously is if you get a dented rung. Mm -hmm. um, so we made that process very simple. You would simply cut out the old rung. Um, you would make a relief cut on the bushing, get all that out of the way, the, re the rest of the piece of rung that's going through the material or the beam. And then all of these parts that you see here, the threaded rod, all that kind of stuff can be obtained at your local hardware store. At that point, it's a matter of just cutting the proper length of rung material and pressing in the bushes. All right, David, thank you very much again for taking us through the history of Sam Carvis, going through some of the Alkalite products that you have. Uh, we covered a lot of information today. And for those who uh, would need to know a little bit more information, ordering information, maybe some parts information, how can they find out more about Sam Carvis? So we made that very simple. They can visit our website, www.fireladder.com. And um, there's online parts ordering. We made it as simple as possible. You just look it up by the model number of the ladder that you have and click on the part that you need to order. All right, perfect. Well, thank you again. This has been Chris McClune for FDIC International 2024 with David Williamson and Sam Carbis. Have a good one and stay safe.